In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and send invoices in Zoho books. Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Smith and I am a Zoho Finance Partner at New Light Financial Solutions. Here at New Light Financial Solutions, we are on a mission to help demystify business finances as well as partner with as many business owners as possible to help them have a growing and more profitable business. Thank you so much for joining us on our YouTube channel today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Now let's dive in. Okay, so when you're ready to start sending invoices out of Zoho and getting paid by your customers, um, the first thing you want to do is create that first invoice. So from your homepage here, if you open up the sales section, you'll see this invoices tab right here. So I'm going to click on that. From here, if you've never sen sent or created an invoice before, you'll see this page that prompts you to create a new one. You can click this button that says new invoice. You can also create a new recurring invoice. So if you're gonna charge someone on a monthly basis um, or some other ongoing basis, you can use that option. And if you do already have invoices in here, you can also use this new button up here at the top. So I'm just gonna click the new invoice button and create a new invoice. So. Prior to this, hopefully you've put some customers in here, and if not, that's okay because you can enter customers as well. But you'll see the first thing you'll wanna do is select a customer. So who are we actually sending this invoice to? If you click in here, you'll see a list. You can search for a customer, or you can actually add a customer by clicking this new customer button, and it will prompt you to enter their information. After selecting a customer, it will go, go ahead and pre-populate the fields from that customer profile. That'd be like the address and the email, and that might be the terms and some other things. So keep in mind that you wanna keep your customer information up to date because it does impact when you do other things in the system. The next thing you'll wanna do is set an invoice number. This will automatically generate from the system or you can change it if you want a different number. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. You can add an order number if you'd like to associate it with an order number and then you can select a date so it will automatically default to today's date because you're creating the invoice on to, on this date however you can change this date to whatever you'd like from here you'll want to select the terms this is how long they have to pay you for when the um, invoices actually do so um, if i pick this net 15 it, you'll see that 15 days after October 22nd, which is today, is November 6th, and that will automatically update your due date. Same would happen with 30, 45, 60. Due on receipt would be the same day, uh, or you can do a custom, which you can actually pick a specific date. So if I pick custom, I can come over here and pick whatever date I like, let's say November 8th. If you have sales people in your system and you want to uh, associate those with your invoices, you can add a salesperson here as well. There's also a late fee invoice. So if you want to charge a late fee once the invoice becomes past due, you can check this box as well. Zoho also has this subject option where if you put in a subject it will show up on the invoice to let your um, customer know what this invoice is for. And I'll show you where that shows up later on the actual invoice. Scrolling down, you'll be able to see the item table here. So this is what you're actually invoicing. So before this, it's actually a good practice to go ahead and update um, and upload or create the items that you are selling. You can also create them from here as well. But if you click into here, it will give you a list of what items exist. You can use this add new item um, option to add a new item as well. But um, I'm going to go ahead and select these consulting services and you'll see the quantity de defaults to one, but you can change this as well. And the rate will pull in based on how the item is set up and it will automatically calculate the amount. So you can add as many line items as you need based on what you're actually charging your client. Below that, you'll see a discount. So there is a place to put in a discount if, you're have, if you have a discount, either percentage or dollar amount here on this particular invoice. There is a setting, which I'll show you afterwards, where you can change the discount to the line items if you are discounting your line items instead. 
So that is an option. If you have shipping charges, you can add your shipping charges in here and that will show up as another line item. And then if you need to make any other adjustments, there is this one place to add adjustments and you can change the words here if you wanted to say something else, but it will make an adjustment to this particular invoice. You can add customer notes and this will be displayed on the invoice as well as additional terms and conditions if you want to specify anything on the invoice. You can upload or attach a file if needed, and that's the essential setup for the invoice itself. When it comes to actually getting paid, if this is the first time you're creating an invoice or in setting up Zoho, you will have to configure how you want to get paid. So if you click this setup payment gateway, you'll see all the options that Zoho has to get paid and you'll just want to follow this process. So let's say you want to set up debit and credit card transactions so people can pay you via credit card. You see Stripe is the preferred gateway. There are some additional ones. If you click that link, you'll click the setup now button and then you'll go through the process to get that all set up in the system. So it's great that Zoho has this option and um, you'll set up whatever methods you want. So if you want all credit card plus ACH plus PayPal, go ahead and go through all the processes um, to set these up for however you want to give people the option to pay. From here, you'll make sure that the email on file is correct and you can add additional emails as well. So this will pull in from the customer if you selected a customer. If you need to copy someone else on this invoice, you can click this add new button and add another person here as well. From here, you'll be able to save it as a draft if you wanna come back to it later, maybe you're putting it in the system in advance. So you, if you do that, you'll be able to see it on your list as a draft. You can go ahead and save and send it. If you use this arrow here, you can see you can save and print it, you can save and share it, which means you can get a link if you wanna share a link for someone to pay you, or save and send later. This will um, allow you to schedule it to send out later. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and click save and send and you'll be able to see a preview of what it looks like. So um, my from email address that I have set up in my system, the to email address, and if there's a, a CC, it looks like it's it automatically copied me to CC. You can see the subject line here. You can alter this as well. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see what the invoice looks like, um, the email for the invoice looks like, and you can see here, it has the option already included to attach an invoice uh, PDF to the email itself. You can also add additional attachments if needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and click send. And that is it. The invoice has been sent. When I go to my invoice list, you'll see it listed here. It says sent and it's due in 17 days. I will show you the customizations for the fields. If you click on settings up here in the right corner, it will take you to an all settings page and you'll wanna go under preferences and general. There, if you scroll down on this general page, you'll see some options for your invoices. So um, attaching a PDF, you'll be able to attach a PDF file with a link when you're sending an invoice. You can see the discounts if you want no discounts at all or adding the discounts at the line item or the transaction level. You can see here those fields for adjustments and shipping charges. You can go ahead and take those off if you don't want them. You also have the option to round if you want to round your sales transaction to the nearest whole number. Here's the option to remove or add that field for a salesperson. And then you can also add the option to um, add billable expenses to your invoices and a default markup for those. So those are some of the options that you can set as standard. So when you go to create a new invoice later, um, if you go take any of these off, they will automatically be there for you. In addition to that, I thought I would go ahead and show you what it looks like for receiving the invoice itself. So you can see I got the email here. It says the invoice number, the invoice overview here, and a button to pay the invoice. So your clients will just click that button and pay in whatever methods you have already set up. If I scroll down, you'll see the attachment. Um, and this is the PDF that has been created for the invoice itself. So there's the subject line that I mentioned before with the um, on the invoice and that's where it shows up along with any notes and your um, terms and conditions will show up here. So that's how you create and send invoices out of Zoho Books. Um, I encourage you to 
send one to yourself, see what it looks like and get used to the process. That's a great way to get started. Be on the lookout for some additional videos that I'm working on related to bills and invoices and payments and everything. So those are going to be great in addition to this one. Thanks for watching.